is TFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update and a rather cautious Basil Chapman here because of all the work that we did last week talking about some kind of rotation, rotational correction coming up that might not be very severe, but at least it looks like some kind of a pullback is needed. We've got our peak D always in the Chapman Wave methodology. We're looking at D as a potential turnaround area. We have turned around a little bit. Dow's down 336 at 34,091. You're looking at the S&P also rather weak. The S&P at this point is down uh, 48 at 4,024. Also after a peak D at 4,151 with a doji candle at the top there. One, two, three. There we go. QQQ. Made a doji candle peak E and is pulling back just a little bit down three at 289. Look at the IWM, the Russell 2000, uh, making some kind of a double top here. Peak C1, C2, or it's a peak F at 184.52 and minus 3.55. At the, just having that 200 period moving average resistance, looking at gold pulling back, we were anticipating that gold has been really strong, but a little bit just short term overbought as the dollar maybe is trying to find some kind of support at its 200 period moving average. So the dollar, uh, gold is down 20 points at 1790. Um, we'll talk about silver, etc. We're going to come back for the Tiger Technicians Hour in a few minutes. But look at the dollar. The dollar is, in fact, uh, trying to form a little doji candle here at the bottom, up at four cents at 104.56. I don't think you can go too far to the upside, but I do see some kind of an oversold bounce possible this week. Looking at uh, crude oil, crude oil is uh, up. 1.20 at 81.19. It needs to clear the 84 level 200 period moving average to start changing the trajectory in the very near term to up rather than down. And the TLT bonds are trading down $1.50 at 105.50. Got a peak potential peak F here, and it just says in this particular phase, we might see yields start to climb just a little bit. Uh, and we'll be looking at the volatility index, which finally is showing something. It's up a uh, dollar fifty-seven at twenty point sixty-three. If it gets to the twenty-three level at any time in the next two days, we've got to watch that closely. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour coming up in a few minutes' time, and check out my opening call daily newsletter, and check out the huge sale that's going on at TFNN plus a mug. I'll be right back in a few minutes. Hope you can stay.